Hi, I'm Tom Miggett from Tom Miggett Photography, and I'm here again in the tunnel, just like in a previous video. Um, and I'm not alone again, I'm with Megan. In this video, we're going to talk about the role of the um, ISO in flash photography. In the previous episode, we talked about the role of the shutter in flash photography, and, and now we're going to talk about the ISO. So, same setting as in a previous episode, where we have, we have the softbox here, which is a strip softbox from West Coast. Uh, I just love it. Uh, there's my flash inside my speed light. There's a trigger there. Uh, it's set on manual, and I've got my trigger here on top of my camera, my 5D Mark III, and I'm shooting with a 24-105 lens. Uh, my flash remains at the same power as the previous episode, which is a half power, and the exposure settings here on my camera is going to be my sync speed, which is 200 of a second, um, aperture of 6.3, and the ISO of 400. So, I'm going to take a first exposure with those settings. So, Megan? And just like in the previous episode, I'm taking a wide image so you guys actually see the effect it has on the entire uh, location and not just on Megan's face. So. so, what you can see now is actually the light is really coming from the, uh, the flash only. There's no ambient light with the exception of the light on the ceiling, and Megan is perfectly exposed. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to increase my ISO value. Let's say instead of 400, I'm going to go to one more stop, which is going to be 800. Yes, you're right, 800. So let's bring it up to 800. And actually, no, let's, let's do two stops. So 800 and 1600 now, so 1600. And so 1600, 200 of a second, and aperture 6.3, and we keep the um, flash power at half power. Let's go. Okay, and you'll notice that now, by cranking the ISO, we have actually increased the exposure on Megan's face. Megan is overexposed now. You should see the two images next to each other. You can see, actually, it's uh, on my camera, it's actually blinking, but it's definitely overexposed. There's even on my camera showing that there are some burned places. You can even notice that now we have even more information inside the tunnel. We cannot, we see more ambient light from the tunnel, um, and that was by cranking the ISO. Let's crank the ISO even more by one more stop. That from 1600, that was going to bring us to 3200. So let's go to 3200. Here we go, and I'm not changing anything else. So what you see now, clearly, is that we actually increased the, up, the exposure on Megan's face again. We did not change the power of the flash, we just increased the sensitivity of our medium. It turns out that it's a sensor here. Um, and we have more information on the ambient light. So now you know that the effect of the ISO when you do flash photography, it basically increased the exposure of the entire scene not only of the ambient light, but obviously on your model, because we are shooting manual mode and the manual, the flash power does not change. So in the next episode, we're going to talk about the final, uh, the last um, factor of the exposure triangle. We're going to talk about the aperture, and you'll see that one is really, really interesting. So until then, this is Tommy Gutsing. If you like it, well, capture it, and see you in the next episode.